Hi, we're at Cosbia. We're doing a little bonus video because Malcolm hasn't finished those extra coats of varnish. This is our view when we're working. Pretty nice, huh? And here's Malcolm working on a monomoy hull. This is a mass maritime as these boats a lot of maritimes do. Take six or eight guys rowing it. What to call down when the boats um, have two, I guess you could say pointy ends, the bow and the stern. What is that called? I don't know, it's just called a double lender. Double lender? big and in the winter see through here it's even bigger in the winter it's filled with boats that we have to varnish wet sanding on the models after you've got several coats of paint of varnish on them. Sometimes it's easier to put a little soap in the water, you know, in a spray bottle. But you've got to be very careful that you uh, rinse it off but if you're going to put more coats on. But it does make it a little bit easier to wet sand with a little soap in it. model like this, you get halfway, you have to plane this way, then when you turn around you got to plane this way. And some people have been asking about the, I think it's a sandbagger. Well, I'm supposed to be getting plans for the keel. Now, how are you planning on finishing this? Well, it's up to Greg Egan, probably. I, I don't know. This is going to be a trophy. For those of you who are new to Malcolm's carving, he's making those marks after holding the template up just to mark where he needs to remove more wood. And if you are new to Malcolm's half haul videos, we have lots more here on YouTube, but not of the Monomoy. This is extra. There are videos of half hauls of cat boats.
gets to a point where you gotta say good enough. Because a good heavy sand and especially with a block or a best tool like I use a lot, will take out a lot of hot spots. When you're sanding with a fest tool and you're removing a decent amount of wood, do you keep using the templates as you're sanding? No. To make sure you don't go too far? No? no. Once I start sanding, I'm done with the templates. Okay. Why don't you explain about those numbers on your templates? Well, I got them all from a set of plans, but it's easy to get mixed up, which I do quite often. Well, you have them numbered one through eight, and well, then... there's so much. I measure from the stern forward, and then each station on the plans has a number, like one through ten or fifteen, depending on the size. And then you have like. 10 and 1 8 from stern. The FS is from stern yeah. for number six. This one in the middle is always on most models, is always the hardest one to get right. It uh, takes the longest. As I said, at some point you just gotta stop sandpaper take care of it. These, as far as I'm concerned, are done. I just got these two other ones, and I'm about ready to say they're good enough. A little bit more right there. If you ever go out looking for planes, this is a number one. This is a reproduction. I bought it from Woodcraft Supply. I never would have believed it, but it's made in China and it keeps a good edge and they did beautiful little workmanship on it. But if you can find an original Stanley number one, it would probably be worth thousands of dollars. I'll see if you find one for 
This is cheap. a grab it. This is a number two. This is not a Stanley, but Stanley makes them. A number two is worth some money, but not as much as a number one. Is that just because they didn't make as many, or? I don't know. They just there's not many. I guess they probably just didn't make as many. But the number one plane is a nice little plane. So can people buy Andy Phone's um, movie that he made about Crosby Yacht if they were interested in yes, the boat yard? I don't know. I'm sure he wants to sell some. Yeah. Um, we have a movie that was made re recently, A Year in the um, Life of a Boat Yard, or some, is that the name? Do you remember? No. Something similar Something to that? Like that? A Year in the Life, and it's all about um, all of us working here at Crosby Yacht over the course of a year. Andy Phone, F-O-N-E, made it. Maybe you can find it at Amazon if you're interested in Crosby Yacht. He also made another movie about these boats here. The We Are No Seniors, called Lady of the Sound. It's a great documentary about the We Are No Senior that my great great grandfather designed. Your great -grand great grandfather, sorry. Great great did the cap out. Sometimes you can't go by the templates 100% of you have to always go by feeling it. This is a, usually on any round bilge boat, cat boat, a senior, or any other round bilge one I do. This in the middle is the last one. And I'm just about done on this. I don't want to make it hollow even though the template shows a little bit more to take. And you just got the plans for this for Mass Maritime, Dad? Or where? My boss got them. I don't know where. You don't know where? A lot of times I believe you can get plans in the wooden boat catalog, I've seen them for different oh. boats. You might have to get them blown up. I've done it on a copying machine. I don't know if you want it done, you could go to a professional place, but and just try it. The first few that I made weren't very accurate. Oh, we got to give the results for your um, the auction at uh, where was it again? No, Eldred's. Eldred's um, auction house. Hold on. Yeah, I, I had a senior, and the senior was just a plain hull like this, no keel, no rudder, no trim, no backup plaque. And when I sold it in the '70s, I think I sold it for thirty-five or forty dollars. <laughs> And at the auction house last a week ago today I went and it sold for I believe six hundred and dollars. Awesome. I made a little junior model. How it like mine where the keel didn't. Yeah, somebody maybe added sure. that I'm later. Not sure about that. 
Well, at the very least, they re-glued it and made kind of a sloppy glue job out of it. That only sold for a couple hundred dollars. It was very really small and had a little damage. But these are made in the 70s, so they're some of the first models you ever did. Yeah. They go for a lot more than that now. Alright, great. Well, after lunch, maybe we'll make another video. Thanks. <laughs>